Hello bookworms, welcome to the Weekend Readers Book Club, thank you for joining us. In this episode we were planning on reading and discussing the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix, however I got two Grady Hendrix books and I started reading the second one first and I found, well, I couldn't put it down, so today we are reviewing Another Grady Hendrix book, We Sold Our Souls. We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix was released in 2018 and it has a spooky paranormal feel to it so it keeps in line with our books that we're reading for the spooky month. We Sold Our Souls is a book based around a rock band. A rock band who in the, I believe the early 90s, a band is about to be signed to like it's independent but is about to blow up their lead guitarist slash slinger decides to go out and venture on his own and create a separate band leaving the original members at a loss why the band broke up and why life for them is being so down but yet for the member that left it went sky high to the top So I finished reading We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix and this is what I thought about the book. It evolves around really the main character's Chris. She was in the band and she was part of the people that didn't blow up. So there was a lead singer in the band called Terry who went off and did his own thing. However, for the four supporting members of the band, the original band, including Chris, They can't really remember the night that they signed over their contracts to allow Terry to go do his own thing and thus make Terry a huge superstar. This story follows Chris's journey to try and find out what exactly is going on, why Terry won't actually interact with any of the band members anymore, and to find out why none of the members from the original band cannot remember signing the contracts to allow Terry to leave to do his own thing. It's a very weird story in the sense that there's plot points put throughout the story in relation to Chris and her other four band members who haven't gone on to superstardom. Every interaction is actually quite different and you see that they have tackled life in a different way over and above what Terry has done in relation to leaving and becoming the biggest rock superstar in the world. For me, it read pretty easy, but I didn't really get the sense that it was going to be a supernatural book at the latter end of the story. Now, there are, I'm going to say, demons and spirits in this book, (laughs) demonic forces, that is actually explained and written really well by Gerady Hendrix. However, I was like, huh, I didn't realize this is where it was going to turn. We had this dark turn and we just carried it on to the end. So that surprised me. Overall, though, I was really, really impressed with Chris's story on her adventure to try and find out what exactly happened uh, to the whole to the whole band members and to the whole band that one fateful night when they can't remember signing the contracts to release Terry. Terry comes across as a bit of a wow. Well, he come. I'm gonna say he comes across as a bit of a dick. However, there are circumstances surrounding that that you'll need to navigate through the book. Um, But again, it was an enjoyable read. The the spookiness aspect of it, eh, give and take, but it did did make the turn intriguing in relation to trying to find out what, what is going on with everything. And it did, like, while I was reading it, I didn't really pick it up. But once I finished it, and the conclusion of the story, I sort of went back and reviewed Chris's interactions with her fellow ex-band members, and I was like, oh, okay, this actually all ties in to the part at the end. And I didn't pick that up as I was going along, so it was good to reminisce about the book, as I felt then I came away understanding the story a bit more, 
And, you know, overall, it was a great read. The ending of the book, well, it's an ending. I don't know how you would end it. So I was happy with the way in which Grady Hendrix ended the book. However, I found myself wanting more of Chris and the supporting cast, which is a female companion she picks up along the way and you're introduced throughout the story because that interaction was that interaction and relationship of the story i.e girls gonna stick together was actually really intriguing and fun and a heavily dominated well chris is the only female and everybody every other character really is a male character in this book so the question will be will grady hendrix we Sold Our Souls be going on to my bookshelf? The answer is no. However, I would highly recommend this book to somebody as I thoroughly enjoyed it and I found myself not putting it down. I just wanted to keep on reading to find out what was next in relation to Chris's journey. However, I myself wouldn't go back to reread it. So while I could highly recommend it, I wouldn't be something that I'd keep on my bookshelf to reread in, say, two, three, four years' time, because it's a one off story. While the story was great and the book was great, it's just something that, you know, I'm just not going to reread. However, I will say this with Grady Hendrix and this book, and then I'm actually am going to read the Final Girl Support Group book. I found this book to be very easy to read and it was an enjoyable read. So I'm hoping the same will come from the next Grady Hendrix book because if it does, then I just need to go through and view their back catalogue and start reading some of their older works. So, as a customs here at the Weekend Readers Book Club, as one book closes, another book has to open and it is now time to find out what the Weekend Readers, the next read is bookworms we are doing something i didn't think we were going to do bookworms we can confirm we are saying hello colleen hoover for the next read yes we are doing verity by colleen hoover it's not so much i am jumping on the colleen hoover train because wherever you go be it tiktok or youtube or anywhere Instagram, it's Colleen Hoover this, Colleen Hoover that, Colleen Hoover everywhere. However, for me, Verity by Colleen Hoover is our next read as I saw my daughter reading it. And I was intrigued and she said it was an enjoyable book. So I thought, you know what, I will pick this up, give it a whirl and see what my daughter read and see what she enjoyed and go into it with open eyes and ears and Hopefully enjoy reading my first Colleen Hoover novel. So that there was our episode and discussion of We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix, a book I really enjoyed. It was enjoyable, as I said, the spookiness or the supernaturalness. It surprised me because I didn't realise it was going to be in there. And then it sort of took me on a ride itself. Unfortunately, it didn't make my bookshelf, but I would say to you, if you haven't read it and you're interested in Grady Hendrix's stuff, go give it a whirl. It was an enjoyable read. You can feel free to read along with us or even engage with us. We are available on Instagram, Weekend Readers Book Club, and you can find this podcast on YouTube or any major podcast provider under The Weekend Readers. Until next time, thank you again for joining us and bookworms. Happy reading.